Um, you know, you've been talking, actually you, Mr. Hewitt and Mr. Baer, about housing. It is a brutal problem. Uh, incredible in Vermont. Nobody can live anywhere close to where they work. It's really tough. Uh, that affordability crisis is real, not just in housing. You mentioned auto insurance, but it's pretty much everything. You just got to uh, take what you, you, you don't have any bargaining power at all. And housing, uh, remember that uh, algorithm that was called rent maximizer? Uh, that was before uh, they realized maybe we shouldn't advertise what we're doing. And they changed, <laughs> they changed the name, but not the game. Um, and the, all these companies have been able to evade the antitrust laws, in significant part because the antitrust laws just didn't anticipate and how could they, uh, the world we're in with di uh, digital commerce. Um, so, Mr. Bear, I'll start with you. Just be specific, if you can, about how our antitrust laws cover any competitive behavior like this, uh, and what, how do we have, what do we have to do with respect to our antitrust laws and legal standards uh, to address the reality of this anti-competitive behavior with it? with a different tool, you know, Bob isn't doing it, as you mentioned, uh, it's hap but it's happening with the algorithm. Right. Um, <clears throat> so I, I, I think, first of all, some of this behavior is being reached uh, by not just the uh, public antitrust enforcers, but by uh, private uh, plaintiffs who've, uh, who are acting on behalf of hotels, uh, hotel customers, on behalf of apartment renters. So there is some movement. The challenge is uh, uh, when, as I indicated earlier, competitors are independently and knowingly using the same type of algorithm without writing it together, uh, that produces the same results as, though, as if they had sat down in London so uh, together, we, had a drink, what, and, and, and written the mass. So that's, what can that's we the do problem. About it? I mean, you've got, you know... One of the most conservative senators in the Senate, you know, Senator Klobuchar, and you've got one of the most liberal, Mr. Lee, right here. <laughs> yeah. Or did I get that wrong? Well, <laughs> well, maybe not on this one. <laughs> but they're both here because they share this common concern. So what's your recommendation on one of the remedies we should pursue? So I, I think encouraging uh, the FTC to consider use of Section 5, Unfair Methods of Competition Authority, to to bridge the gap between um, uh, overt collusion and this sort of indirect collusion is one thing. If, if the courts aren't going to embrace that, and we don't know that they will, uh, I think there needs to be a legislative solution.